Hey everyone, I am back for a new video. I am back and fresh and ready to start filming again after a nice break of... Hey, if you haven't seen my channel before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification because we all know YouTube analytics is still being weird. So if you don't hit that bell notification button, you might end up missing my future videos but if you're interested in anything I have on my channel, feel free to check everything out. Um, I decided to do a very, very different video than I normally do. And I was completely inspired by another YouTuber by the name of Ashley Elizabeth. I will link her videos down below. She talks a lot about minimalizing your life. And if you have noticed... I have a lot of clothes. I have been completely inspired by her video to just completely minimalize my wardrobe to start with my wardrobe is where I feel comfortable starting with because look at all of this stuff like I don't wear half of that. So this video today is going to be me going through my clothes and just chucking away clothes that I've had forever that I just don't fit and then the ones that aren't tattered and torn will be donated to a local charity or a local women's shelter. As you can see like this is my makeup collection. I've just got a few foundations, mainly lipsticks, um, those are my concealers, a ton of brushes, yeah, this is all going to get cleaned out. I have that Tarte sample that you get when you order stuff. Your eye products. Some more eye products, brow products. This freaking... This is like one of the best highlighters I've seen from the drugstore that everybody talked about. The Elf Baked Blush. And as you can see, I freaking dropped it on the ground and broke it. The next door is nothing but lip products. I have them sectioned out as like nudes, um, your more springtime, and then your uh, autumn. And then down here are eyebrow product or, you know, your uh, palettes, some palettes that fit in there, eyeshadow primers, random pressed glitters. This goes back in there. That's a Revlon color. And then, you know, brushes. And then down here I have other palettes um the eyeshadow palette that i just got from my whatever box it was beauty con box um i just got this one in the mail it's the one that is supposed to mimic the anastasia um renaissance palette and at first they had the exact same names but as you can see, they have changed the names now. And yet, I don't own the original palette, so I can't compare the swatches. But they work beautifully. I use this palette for my graduation makeup. So if you want me to do, um, not really a tutorial, but what I did for my graduation makeup, I am more than happy to do that. And it's got a nice size mirror. Um... Mainly that's it, like the eyeshadow palettes, and then I keep some stuff down here, but mainly like this is it for my makeup collection, so I can't see decluttering this at all because I use everything. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, that way I know you guys actually like these kind of videos. I find them really kind of interesting just to see how people are decluttering their lives and opening space. And just making life a little bit more simple for everybody. If you got all the way through the end of this video, leave it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what your favorite piece was that I kept in my collection. And then go ahead and let us all know what your favorite piece is in your collection. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is what my closet looks like right now. I don't think you can see on the bed. But I already have a pile started. That's my summer clothes that I've pulled out. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with the back of the closet. 
because I used to keep shirts strictly just for where I work, which is as a cook at the middle school where I live. So, um, I don't really have any yellows in my wardrobe, so that's staying. This is staying because we have Spirit Friday, so if you wear, um, spirit wear, anything that, you know, is school related, you can wear jeans on Friday. Um, I don't think I've worn this in a while, so we're going to put this in the... I'll try it on later pile. Um, I don't really care for orange, but um, again, we'll put that in the I'll try it later. This orange I do not like. It's too Halloween looking for me. Um, this green one I've had forever. I think it's time to just get rid of it. I don't wear it. And then obviously I've got two of the same shirts. One's just a different size than the other. Um, so I'm going to see which size fits better and then the other one is going into the um, pile. This is another shirt of the similar color but it is completely different. So again that's going to be my try on pile. Okay so I kept a few and I have tossed a few. Um, Let's just move these out of the way. These are Greg's clothes. Um, these are more of the fancier shirts that he owns that I like to keep hung up. So they stay nice and wrinkle free. So we're just moving those out of the way. Um, this one over here. These are just my tank tops. Um, tank tops. And then this romper I absolutely love, so that is staying. I just bought this romper. I love it, so that's staying. And I got this at H&M. I don't know what to do with it because it's a crop top, but it hits me more like a shirt. It's like my torso is very small. I have very long arms, very long legs, very short torso. So this, honestly, as you can see, lays like a shirt. So... I'm just going to put that in the other pile. I will go through these later. Um, some of them still fit, some of them don't. I will go through these later, so we're just going to put those over there. So now we are getting into my whites, and obviously um, they're not all white because I've had some help with laundry since, well, I've been working and college and everything so some of these are completely out of color order and it drives me insane but we're just going to pull out my white uh, t-shirts i am a basic girl so my white shirts are staying um this is more of a sweat like a t-shirt sweater so this is actually going to go in my winter pile i do not even know why it's still in my closet because I've already vacuum sealed all of my other winter stuff. I work. My second job is business casual. And obviously it has air conditioning in it. And so I like to keep some long sleeves out. They're, it's just a basic white. So why not put that there for long sleeves. Another business style. This is a New York and Company with a very cute neck detailing long sleeve again putting that in a separate pile again just a basic white shirt um let's see this one is supposed to be business attire i don't really know if i like it just yet so i'm thinking i'll put this in a let me try it on i was given this it obviously has a very small waist and then has an A-line, and uh, I am not small in this section at all. Um, I've had a lot of hormone, well, yeah. I'm just no longer a size that will fit this, so this is definitely going to go to charity. It's a very, very nice, it's the International Concepts. I'm going to try it on just to see exactly what size it is. That way when I market it on one of the Facebook uh, sales or on Poshmark. I know exactly what the details are for it. So we're just going to toss that 
another pillow up there. We've got my fancy shirts. I don't know why I just sound like a country girl. Um, we have some of my fancier white shirts. Uh, this is from Boohoo. I absolutely love it. Um, it is sheer, obviously, but I'm a flat chested girl, so just put on a sports bra or a bralette or something and it looks cute. This is a yellow beautiful faded glory. Uh, long sleeve again for work. Even though it's summer out now. Um, so yeah, but I still like to have long sleeves as an option. It does get chilly, especially when you're working in an air conditioning area for a very long period and you got fans blowing, I do get cold pretty easily. So I just like to keep long sleeves. I just bought this and it is gorgeous. It is just your sheer beautiful business like that has a, like a necktie. You can tie it in a couple of different ways, a choker style or however you want that. So that's just gonna go with my long sleeves but it'll be sectioned differently. This one I got a couple, I want to say two years ago, and it fits perfectly. It's from L. I know I got this at Kohl's. It's gorgeous. I don't know why I still have it out, because it is thicker for the winter. So I'm going to leave it on the hanger until I can pull out my bag of winter clothes to reseal the bag. So we're just going to leave this off to the side. And now into my more colorful, again, business attire, more of a summer shirt, very thin, the material is wonderful. This I believe is Worthington, so I believe I got that at a Goodwill. And I'm a thrifter, if I don't have to pay full price, I'm not going to pay full price. I just don't have that kind of money, college drains you of money. Um, this one's Old Navy. As you can see, it's wrinkled. It wrinkles very, very easily, but it's so soft to wear, so comfortable. So we're keeping that. This is beautiful. It has a wonderful detailing in the back. Again, I'm going to keep this out for work just because it's very, actually very, very lightweight. And it gives you just enough coverage. And this one is a three-quarter length sleeve. Again... I'm going to keep this out because it's um, pretty nice for a business attire. So again, I'm going to leave that out and chill out people. Everything will be color coded. So just relax. I got a belt hanging on two things. I do hang up my belts that way they stay in a good shape. So yeah. Um, here are the rest of my pinks. I just got this at H&M. It's a beautiful t-shirt. I love it. Again, like I said, I'm basic. Not so much basic with colors, but basic t-shirts. Simple print. Please do not tell me that you are one of those people who are my age who still wear shirts that says hashtag this, which doesn't really bother me, but more of like a baby girl or pink. I mean, come on, we know it's Victoria's Secret. But do you really need pink written on the shirt, on the back, on the butt, down the pants? Like, I get it. You bought it at Victoria's Secret on their pink line. I don't need that. I hate that. I hate brands who put Aeropostal all over the shirt. Yeah, I know I bought it there. Yeah, cool. I don't need it on my shirt. So I stopped shopping there. I just stopped going to those places because their clothes are just crap to me. Like, no. I'm not 15 and I don't think that's cool. This one is a beautiful burgundy. It is definitely a fall color. However, I love it for business. Perfect. You got it. And it's like, it's short sleeve, but it's not to the point where you are bearing your shoulders. And so it is, again, perfect for work. A few purple items. I call this purple because, well... It's got purple, and then it details into these TARDIS. Um, I will not ever be getting rid of this. I don't care if it's tattered and torn when I'm like 100 years old. I will forever keep this. I am a Doctor Who fan. 
label me a geek, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. Again, another business shirt. It fits beautifully. The sleeves have a beautiful, like, scalloped look to them, and it just flows very nicely. It looks like a deep neck, but I just keep, like, a little cardigan over it because it is such a short sleeve. So that is staying. Seems like I'm not getting rid of anything, but I am. Okay, we have moved into the blues. Again, this is just a basic baby robin blue. Perfect for my work. Check that one. This is a band t-shirt when I saw One Republic back in 2014. I'm going to probably take my band t-shirts off of the hangers. But for right now, it kind of makes me sick to my stomach because I love wearing them. And I love the fact that, you know, it reminds me that I was there and it was amazing. But then again, band t-shirts don't really need hung up, so I'm just going to throw that on the bed. This one is a muted mint green. It's just like the muted pink from H&M that I bought. Again, basics. More hangers. Again, another basic plain blue shirt. Perfect for work. This is a... I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not sure. It's from Rough Hewn. I don't know. It's a button-up shirt. It is beautiful. It's very, very lightweight. I keep it out all year round. You can layer it on top of a tank top, on top of spaghetti straps, or if you're just going around outside sunbathing, or just lounging at the pool and you want something simple to cover it, but yet stylish. I always keep this out. I don't always wear this, but I like it and I'm just not going to part with it because I have so many uses out of it. I swear I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Again, long sleeve shirt. It's very baggy. Didn't want to stay on that hanger. It is very baggy. But it looks good on, and I'm not going to complain. I do like my shirts to be a little long. Sometimes it's a little bit more flattering since my waist, since my torso isn't so long. Um, again, I'm going to keep that. Again, another basic. It looks to me more navy blue, but a lot of people say they like it as the color purple. So I'm going to say it's navy blue slash indigo um keeping that obviously i just got this um faded glory i had a friend just bring over a bunch of clothes and it's it just layers nicely it's thin it's beautiful i'm keeping it again like the pink shirt uh this is an old navy beautiful keeping that this is something i bought from another YouTuber who I absolutely love. His name is Philip DeFranco and he comes out with shirts and I think they're so cool. Um, but I just had to have this. It says, don't be stupid. Stupid. Like, I really like that. Um, I live in a town where um, Walmart really starts to become the people at Walmart.com. They come in pajamas and they are rude and annoying and so this shirt is perfect to wear to Walmart and just look at people and wait and see if anybody realizes that the shirt is from Philip DeFranco. And again, I just love it and I'm going to keep it because, well, I did just buy it. I have two more long sleeve shirts. They're very, very thin. They're kind of low cut. Again, perfect for work. I mean, come on. I know a lot of this isn't going anywhere. I'm trying... This um, actually is going to get put up into somewhere. I don't want to get rid of it. It is kind of sentimental. And um, I'm not ready to part with it yet, but I don't really wear it. So it's going to go in my winter pile because I do wear this a lot in the winter time. It's thick. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. I love the coloring to it. Just not in the summer. So we're going to check that into the winter bin. 
And then we go to my browns and grays and somehow some blues. Beautiful tan like shirt keeping another just plain basic muted color or tone. Um, this is a beautiful shirt. It is a little bit heavier, so like my other one, it's a Laura Scott. has beautiful detailing that goes on top of another shirt, so that's actually more of my winter shirt. I don't really wear this. It's a fan, not really fancy, but it's definitely your business attire, but I don't ever wear it, so that's going... Like my blue and pink one, I also have a gray. I have a couple different ones that are like this, so that's staying. I've had this forever. I never wear it. I actually had this. My sister actually had this in high school, so that's definitely going. Let's see what else. We have a long sleeve pocketed uh, shirt. I wear this more as a pajama shirt. Um, unless I am just literally running out the door last minute. So uh, that's going in the pajama pile. I have this shirt that I just got and it's American Eagle. I love it. It's gorgeous and it fits so well. It has this really cute ruching detail with like, I don't really want to say teal, but that's kind of what it looks like, like a teal color. We're still recording. And then, like I said, with the other ones, I also have a green one in that style. Um, I used to like this, but it's like winter style, and I just don't wear it, so that's going. Again, just like the others, like I've said, I've got a ton of these and tons of different colors. They fit beautifully. I love them. This I probably will never get rid of. I love the color. It's very sheer. It's lightweight and I love it. So that's long sleeve. I got this at H&M. Yes, about a year and a half ago and I love it. It's one of my more favorite gray tops. This is a simple Vera Wang long sleeve shirt. I think I'm just going to check this in the winter pile because it's a little bit thicker fits beautifully. I will not be getting rid of this because I do wear it a lot. I just think it's more of a winter shirt just because of how thick it is. And we got a pink hanging in here for no reason. I've had this forever. It really does fit but it definitely is more of your spring to autumn into winter so I'm going to put this in with my winter clothes. Like I said, again, I have a ton of these in the different colors. This is from the Limited. It's much like the brown or blue one, but it sits so weird on me. It's got the bat wings. I like that, but I don't know. I'm going to leave that as a try on and see if I'm going to keep it. This belongs in the school spirit wear section, which I have right here. And then this is just a natural brown, old navy plain shirt. Very kind of thick material, but it works. I like how empty my closet looks. This one I got from a friend. I don't really care for it. I don't wear it. So that's going... I like this shirt. It's very pretty. It has just this interesting um, neckline, which is really pretty. I just got this, so I'm keeping that. This is perfect in the winter time. Sometimes in the spring it is just kind of heavy, so I'm going to, again, pull that for the winter. This one's a black basic. I do have black and white basics, but I like color in my life. This I just got. It is so cool. Um, it is obviously see-through, so you just, I would layer this for like the beach or just layer it up for a night out. Keeping that. Again, another black basic. And then I have two band t-shirts. Well, not really band. We have Ed Sheeran. 
And then we have Josh Groban. I did get to see Josh Groban, which was the highlight of my entire life. So I got to see Ed Sheeran, One Republic, and a ton of others. So that's staying. I've had this shirt forever. Um, I really don't get much use out of it anymore. So I'm going to let somebody else have that. Okay, one last basic white tee. Um, another band tee skillet. That can go into my dresser drawers. This is a simple Vera Wang. It's beautiful. It's got beautiful detailing. It's more definitely of a dressier shirt. Definitely keeping that. This is a cardigan I never wear, so that's going. This is actually a onesie. Um, it is wide enough to wear in the spring, but hello, it's like hella hot in my room. So this is going into the winter pile just because I just don't wear onesies in the summer. It's too hot. Um, this is a small little whatever the hell you want to call it. I use this to go over some of the shirts that are more shoulder shirts. That way I have them for work and I can feel comfortable in wearing them. And then we go into two more cardigans. Uh, one's just black, one's blue. I wear them a lot, so we're just keeping these out. And yes, I do separate my clothes with strange ass things. We have a white skirt. It's pretty. Um, I think I'm going to keep it. And then, I don't know why these belts are where they are. I've got a lot of skirts. So I'm just going to go through my skirts later and determine which ones I'm getting rid of. I do have a lot of skirts. But from... From here back are my work pants. My work pants for my other, my business attire. And then for my cooking job, we have to have white pants. So all my white pants and my dress pants are back here. So uh, we'll get to those on later in the day. This is what I am left with. I downsized my skirts by like five or six. I'm through my whole closet. Everything is color coded now. It looks so aesthetically pleasing. And so, take a look at what I actually got rid of. So I put everything in a box. And like I said, I got rid of plenty of skirts. Um, some shirts, some sweaters that I don't wear anymore, t-shirts, shirts, again shirts, a pair of white pants from my other job that I just don't fit. I did decide to get rid of my onesie, I just don't wear it enough. So this is all going to charity. So I didn't actually film an outro for that. Um, I got caught up in getting everything back in and then I had to leave for work. So if you liked this video, give it a good thumbs up and let me know again what your favorite piece was that I kept and what is your favorite piece in your wardrobe. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.